Health matters now. Over 5 million people, Nigerians, are said to be suffering from diabetes mellitus. Of the 420 million people suffering from the condition globally, this has raised concerns amongst health practitioners on the need to educate Nigerians on how best to reduce the spread of the disease to the barest minimum. We'll now be joined on the News at 10 by Dr. Iyang Asibong, the Commissioner for Health in Cross River State, to examine measures needed to address this situation. You're welcome to the News at 10. Thank you very much, Mara. Great to have you here. You were at that meeting in Calabar where yes. some of these figures were ruled out and uh, some of the conditions and so on. How bad really is the situation today? It's, it's really bad. It's really bad. Because we are talking of um, epidemiological transition right now in Nigeria. Many developed um, countries right now are only having a problem of um, non-communicable diseases. But in Nigeria, we're having this problem of communicable and non-communicable. So it's just a double um, barrel, double pronged issue. So while we're still grappling with non-communicable, this non-communicable one is also um, coming up. So um, in Cross River States, we actually have a managing 97,000 people presently. And these are those that we are aware of. Hmm. Many, many more cases are unknown. Hmm. Very many cases of diabetes are unknown. And um, the, most of the cases could be managed without drugs. That's where diet comes in. We talk about dietary approach to stop hypertension and other lifestyle diseases. Many of these we know already. Things like, of course, taking fruits and vegetables. Mm. Things like uh, regular exercises, at least 30 minutes a day, at least three days a week. Having less oil in your food, not putting too much salt. These are things we know. And um, these little things can actually reduce the incidence of um, diabetes. And it's good that you're saying all of this now because um, my next question would have been how much awareness do we have and do we have you know, a, a, a health scheme that helps to manage this disease? Definitely, definitely. A lot of awareness has been created at the federal and the state level. Presently, the Federal Ministry of Health is carrying out this rapid response initiative, screening, massive screening of diabe for diabetes. You're talking of screenings of um, thousands of people across the country and the Cross River State Government is actually taking it a step further. The governor, Senator Professor Ben Ayade, mm. is a very proactive person. So immediately he found out about this, uh, what the federal government is doing. There's a little they can do. We're actually improving on the figures. We are going across all the local governments and actually having free screening for diabetes. And of course, the Cross River State Health Insurance Scheme just, was just um, signed into law by the Cross River State um, Governor on the 6th of September. This will go a long way in addressing many of um, these issues. The scheme is actually tagged Ayade Care. And for the first time ever, a scheme is actually signed into law just about a week after uh, being passed as a bill. And it's been launched, actual launching in which we realized a lot of money. The state governor actually led by example. Mm. And actually, um, you know, donated towards the scheme. Many of that people donated. It's going to be launched across the local government, right down to the grassroots, yeah. where the people need it more. And we're hoping, and we're hoping that a lot of other states um, also emulate that. But um, for many people who do not know, what are the common signs of diabetes? I mean, because the people you have said yes. are living with diabetes and yes. do not know that they're living with the disease. The commonest sign of diabetes, one of the common signs, is frequent urination. You find yourself urinating more frequently than normal during the day. At night, we call it nocturia. You wake up at night. Maybe previously, you didn't used to wake up at night to urinate. But now, you're doing it very often. Or even if you weren't waking up before, but you've realized that every night now, you wake up. Then there's a difference. But for somebody that usually, because everybody has their own personal idiosyncrasies, if you usually wake up at night to maturate, um, then... If it's once and you've realized that there's actually an increase, now you're talking of twice or thrice, then there's a problem. You're talking of increased tests. You, feel, you find yourself drinking water very often, yeah, much you know, more than you know, normal. You know, those, those symptoms are quite similar to malaria. Yes, frequent drinking malaria, of water yes, and yes. also frequent urination. Because of the fever in malaria, but mm -hmm. diabetes comes without fever. Okay. And one of the cardinal signs of malaria is fever. Mm -hmm. So you also find the person eating a lot. More. Yes, okay. the person eats a lot, urinates a lot, drinks plenty of water, feels very tired. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much, uh, um, Mrs. Uh, in Dr. Inyang Asibong, for joining us on the News at 10. Thank you.